Hi, so today, today I will draw something for Celia because I got this, a mail from her and she drew something for me and I'm so freaking excited because this is the first time I received something that somebody drew for me and uh, I want to do that in return for her, but I don't want to open this yet. First, I want to, I want to draw and then I will open it. So stay tuned for that. By the way, this is the amazing Celia Boduc, also known as Linoart, and she's an incredible digital and traditional artist that you should definitely check out if you don't already know her. Thank you, Celia, so, so, so much for everything. I'm sending you a lot of hugs. I have no clue what I will draw, so let's just sketch and see what happens. Let's go. So a while ago I created this mini prototype of a mini interactive art book and I was thinking why not make something similar for Celia? As you can see this one is filled with stickers, art prints, a letter and a keychain. Oh and don't forget about the thank you card. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to create this in October. <laughs> okay now let me show exactly what I want to build for Celia. And let's start with the cover of course. For this mini interactive art book I decided to illustrate my doggos in different playful scenarios. And so if you open the first page you will get this. And because this is an interactive art book I planned a little surprise for her and her daughter. I got the seeds from my mom and oh my god this fits so perfectly so thank you mom so 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 much and of course i had to draw a portrait of them because they're so cute and lovely together and i don't know this is so personal so yeah and by the way i already drew this the front cover but if you want to see the whole process you can check my instagram for that and now that we're done with the planning let's get to work shall we okay so this is my favorite color pencil ever i love it I love it. It's... Mm. So I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I want to cut the paper so then I can see how it will look like in the end. Or maybe I want to sketch it first and I want to paint it with watercolors. That's what I know. Ta-da! Maybe I should. I don't know. It will be harder if I will paint, so I don't know. But sometimes I don't have patience at all. <laughs> Can I fuck things up? Yeah, you do. <gasps> no! But it's fine. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I don't know. I didn't expect it to be like this. <laughs> Usually um, when I cut the paper, they only have four or six holes with the... With the... <gasps> what did I do? Oh well, this is the concept now. <laughs> you, can, you can see it clearly and yeah. I have to do something with this. Wait, I have to think. So I had like a pretty, very pretty pink ribbon and I don't have that anymore. And I'm pissed. I'm trying to think, guys. What should I do? Do you know what I will use for now? What? So... <laughs> Let's start drawing, shall we? But first things first, reference pictures. Because even though we're drawing dogs, this will be so, 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 so helpful. Trust me. So every time that I wanna draw something out of my imagination, it kinda looks off. And the moment I use the reference picture, everything clicks together. Okay, let me tell you the thought process of this character because first I wanted to draw some hands that were more like Disney cartoony, kind of humanish, but I didn't like at all how it turned out in the end, so <laughs> I took more reference pictures of Mochi. <laughs> and then you see what I'm saying? 
you see what I'm saying? Always use reference picture for everything. <laughs> but yeah, in the end, it turned out super duper cute. I just love it so much. By the way, I want to show you a uh, footage of my dogs eating ham. <laughs> I wanted to finish this sketch that I made of Mochi and Kira pretending to be a flower <laughs> because it was so cute. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, I will not start again. <laughs> okay, now I will literally stop talking right now because I'm just rambling and I will just let you enjoy the process. Even though I kind of f***ed up the audio because I didn't realize that I was listening to music in my headphones too loudly, but yeah. In the following minutes, you get a smooth audio, so wait for that. <laughs> sí. Now it's time to paint this, because it's been a couple of days since I didn't touch it at all. So, let's paint. Let's go. I have a couple of things that I want to discuss with, about this paper that I painted on. It's not the best one, it's the cheapest and you can, you can tell. I am super sad that I didn't use the one that I like from Dalarami, from these sketchbooks that I freaking love. But yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> Let's try to save this. <sighs> Should I try now? You just go over it. You yeah, with black. Ooh, and I didn't do the <laughs> I didn't draw. It ripped. Okay, you know what? Okay. Now we <laughs> uh, Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Maybe I use this. I love this by the way. But I don't know if I should go for no, definitely use uh, crayons. Cause I'm I'm sad, man. I expected it to be more. Mm. Hi! I decided to split this video in two parts, so welcome to the end of the video. I really hope that you liked it so far, because I have more for you coming up next week, where you see me build a primary clay keychain and a portrait of her and her super cute daughter. So stay tuned for that. Till then, I'm sending you all the love and creativity in the world, and I wish you a beautiful day or night, wherever you are. Boop. And see you next time. By the way, like and subscribe for more crazy stuff like this. <laughs> Bye.